Hi there, it's Chris Hamilton here with Sales Tip A Day, www.salestipaday.com. And today I'm going to show you a great little program you can use for your email marketing called MailChimp. And um, I use a couple different services. I use AWeber and I just started using MailChimp. And I use MailChimp, their free version, uh, as opposed to their paid version, just because I'm testing it out right now. But I thought I'd actually share this out with you because it's so simple to use. Um, go to MailChimp.com and I'm just going to show you really quickly. They actually have a forever free plan where you can get up to 2,000 subscribers and send up to 1,200 emails a month. So if you have 2,000 subscribers, it means you can send six emails a month out, which is a phenomenal deal. Um, against the uh, for this service uh, that you have but uh, just to show you how easy it is to actually use uh, I've created a couple of campaigns um, I've got one for uh, Jeffrey Gittimer's new book uh, giveaway I actually uh, it was uh, put some content in that book and I was uh, blasting it out to a bunch of people that I know but I'm going to show you one of my weekly bi-weekly webcasts uh, that I do uh, so I'm going to walk you through just really quickly how easy this thing is so I'm going to go and uh, just show you exactly what you do. So what you do is you create a list that you're going to send something to. So I've got this one, which would be uh, the Refreshed IT slash Sales Tip a Day netcast that I do on a regular basis. Um, once you've created a list and inputted in people into this, so that's another thing you can do. You can take email names and put them into this, or you can also build a contact form where people can actually uh, register and you can capture emails. Uh, but the first things first, you get a list going. So you can take Excel, dump that into uh, MailChimp, um, and numerous other ways that you can actually put uh, put information in. But that first thing is create a list. Your second thing that you end up doing is um, you start moving through this process, and it gets you to a point where, just bear with me for a sec here, you put the information in on the contact that or on the campaign that you have. So. Uh, I've just nailed or uh, uh, made this a bi-weekly uh, webcast and the message title and you put uh, who it's coming from and also where uh, there's a reply email and if you want um, this will uh, put information in for the person's first name for the email that comes in. The other thing too is track the open, see who's actually opened up and gone through. If you have a Twitter account or Facebook you can put your information on that. So that's the, uh, the second phase that you do with this one. Very quickly, that took me all of about uh, one minute to, to put together. Uh, so once I put the list in and you got one minute to put it together, then what you do is you can actually create a templated uh, email. So uh, unfortunately, I have one that's actually done right now, but they have a bunch of templates that you can pick from to create your email with, and you just fill the content in. Uh, on your email. So this one here, I had the existing content, maybe took me five, ten minutes to pull together. Uh, you can change the different uh, views on what it is and different colors and stuff down the uh, right hand side here. So once again, build a list. Two, put the information in that uh, is going out to people. And three is actually build the email. Now the other one too is basically putting it into a plain text message. Um, Sometimes people's emails will get uh, what they call the HTML emails and put them in a spam filter so you can actually send it as a plain text as well. So that's basically done for you. And last but not least, then you start putting the parameters in place of actually how you send your email out. And um, so what happens is it says that, you know, on the list wise, you've got so many going out to. Here's your subject line. Here's your reply who it's going to. You've chosen to get tracking. You're sending an, e an HTML email out. Um, you are also sending a plain text email out if uh, people will not get the uh, the uh, HTML. Um, and uh, just down at the bottom here, I'll skip the last two. It doesn't really matter about those ones. Um, but you schedule the delivery. And I have this scheduled for uh, tomorrow at 7.45 a.m. And the reason I picked 7.45 a.m. is it just gets there as people are arriving into their... Um, uh, into work so that they'll be those this will be one of the top emails that actually hits their uh, their in bin and they'll have a likely a higher likelihood of actually uh, opening it and then last but not least you just put schedule and guess what voila I'm done that's how easy it is to create an email campaign that goes out um, the longest time consuming part of this is actually creating the template or picking the template and getting the colors that you want and then just putting the content in but literally like I say that took me about 10 minutes to pull that sort of stuff together. So that's how you use MailChimp with a free service to actually uh, inform your clients on a regular basis of uh, information that you might have that you want to, uh, to share with them. So I hope you find that of use. And for daily sales and marketing tips, go to www.salestipaday.com. 
or feel free to reach out to me at chris at salestipaday.com. Thanks for viewing.